All right, so let's just jump straight into this. The two things that you're going to need is you're going to need NVIDIA GeForce Experience. So this is only available for people that have an NVIDIA graphics card. And you're going to need the Xbox app. Um, you can download it from the Windows 10 App Store. I don't know if it's on 8.1 or 7. So uh, I apologize if it's not. And I apologize to people that are using AMD graphics cards. I don't know if there's a program for AMD, so I'm sorry again. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up the Xbox app, go straight into settings, go over to Game DVR, and instantly turn this off. Sometimes when you're recording, um, if this is on for some reason, it'll record the audio, but the picture will freeze. So it'll record for about two seconds, and then it will just freeze. I'm thinking it just has to do with something about the game DVR trying to record at the same time as shadow play. So if you turn it off, you have no problems, it'll record perfectly. Um, next you're going to want to set up shadow play. So go ahead and open up NVIDIA GeForce Experience. You go into your shadow play. Um, right now I'm using shadow play to record so I can't change anything right here or right here. But basically, all you have to do is set up your camera the way that you want it, position it, size it, everything. Microphone always on. Make sure you check allow desktop capture because it will not <laughs> record otherwise. You have to have that checked. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into your Xbox app. Um, go to connect. Obviously, mine's already connected. You're going to have to connect yours if you don't already have it connected. Then hit stream. Pretty easy. I mean, no brainer, right? Um, obviously, my controller's already connected to my Xbox, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, as you can see, it's connected. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that because I'm not. I, I won't be able to stream on Twitch to show you guys, but it will definitely work. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to to open, have this open, uh, go into mode and it'll bring down a drop down and then you'll be able to click on Twitch. It'll ask you to sign in and all that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to just link it with your Twitch account. Um, you're going to set up a hotkey to start broadcasting and it'll start broadcasting to Twitch. All you have to do is open that back up. You'll have your camera in the corner you'll be able to talk to people and you'll be able to stream gameplay uh, the only problem with it is you won't be able to see your chat so if you have a second computer or a phone or you know something that will be able to have twitch on it so that you can see your chat great um, otherwise you're gonna have to keep opening up and closing opening up and closing in order to see what's going on in your chat um, you know, this is just temporary for people who can't afford high quality capture cards or any of that. So, um, you know, if this doesn't work for you, please leave a comment and I'll try to respond. Um, if it does work for you, leave a thumbs up. You know, that'd be great. Like, subscribe, maybe. I don't know. But take it easy, guys.